Hello, I'm Bob Trevorrow. Welcome to Bob Trevorrow Ceramics. And this is my studio. I'm going to do a demonstration today where I'm going to talk about surface, how I both create textures and smooth surfaces. Um, I have here some examples. These are all wheel thrown pottery. These two mugs are the same clay and the same glaze, but you can see this one I've, been, I've put a subtle texture on it. This is a smooth mug. And it, it really doesn't affect the, uh, the final look and feel of the piece. Um, these two little cups are similar. This one, I've put this sort of wavy texture. You know, after the firing, it'll, it might look something like that. This, this uh, cup here, you see I've trimmed it and I've smoothed it. That's, that's a technique I'm really going to uh, demonstrate to you all today. And that gives us a smooth look. You see, this, this clay gives a lot of character to the final glaze, but I don't want any little crisscrossy circular lines, and there's none on there. So if I had left um, scratches and whatnot during the, the trimming on this, you would see those. This clay really does show the high and low spots, as you can see. This, this lamp over here, again, has this... I've imparted this texture when it was wet. Um, this is what it would look like in the greenware. And this is a design element, and design elements should be intentional. So we're going to talk today about how to get that smooth surface if you want that, or a texture. All right, over here on the wheel, I have a piece I've thrown already. Um, this, I believe, is a mud tools rib, and I use these all the time. And this is how we first start with smooth. I've thrown this already. You can see there's slip on it, and there's finger marks. First thing I'm going to do is scrape off this little extra clay in the bottom. And then using the rib, pressing on the inside. You can see that that really um, scrapes off all this slip and starts to smooth the texture. I do want to talk about one thing with these tools too. This tool, when dragged across the clay like this, will smooth it and when it's dragged across like this will more scrape it away. So this can, this can kind of be a trimming tool or, or just use as a rib to smooth. This is a time you can do shaping too. I, I can push out on the inside, pushing against the rib to, to help get the shape, the final shape I'm looking for. It's sort of like a little planter or something. That's about what we would put for. I typically, if I'm going to put a texture on something, I do it now, wet. I used to use a trim tool, something like this, and I would do these, uh, put textures on leather hard. The problem with that is it's, once you've done it, you've done it. It's, and if you hit a piece of coarse sand and it makes a hole or a big scratch, it's hard to fix that. So this is when I will go ahead, if I'm going to do a little texture on there. This one just got, well, have sort of a subtle wavy texture you can kind of see that and these little line little high spots again will we'll break through the glaze and they'll show um, they'll show quite a bit in the finished piece all right in the second video I'm going to show how I do leather hard trimming and I get that smooth surface back Cut. welcome back to Bob Trevorrow ceramics okay so the second part of the video what I'm going to talk about is leather hard trimming and specifically um, getting a real nice smooth surface when you're done with that. Here's a piece I threw earlier. It's going to be a mug. You can see it's smooth on the outside. I, I used that same plastic rib like I demonstrated earlier to achieve that while this was spinning around the wheel. We just let that smooth that out. Um, but now I need to trim this bottom area. And this is a sandy clay and you'll see that, and I'm sure if you've trimmed sandy clays you've seen that too, that it, it's pretty rough sometimes. So I have a technique for smoothing that right back out. Um, Again, on this mug, you can see it's, it's, you can barely tell the difference where the two areas are. And once this is fired, you won't be able to tell at all. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I trim these. I find with a sandy clay like this, you want to try to trim these where it's, it's still a little on the damp side. I mean, this is leather hard clay, but I, I can kind of pull off little pieces and roll it. It doesn't crumble. Um, a real test will come when you start trimming it. If it just sort of globs up on your trim tool, it's way too wet. But 
if this clay is too dry, it's going to make a rough surface, and I can still work with that, and I can still repair it, but it's, it's easier for me if I don't do that, um, <laughs> if I don't, if we don't create a rough surface to have to fix it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take a little off the top. I trim the bottom on my pieces. I like there to be a glazed bottom, and so this is just what I do for pretty much everything. I create a little foot on these so these cups can stack. And you see it's coming off in ribbons. This is what you want when you trim. It's not coming up, it's not coming off just like glop on my tool, but at the same time it's it's still soft. You know, I can actually roll these back into a ball. Um, you're not gonna cut the sand in half with a trim tool, it's gonna make this rough surface. So it's that's why I like this where it's a little bit softer. It's gonna be easier to repair it. I'm not going to quite spend as much time as I normally do, but this is basically how we trim the bottom. Give it a defined foot. You know, throw these where they're a little thicker on the bottom, so I have enough clay. I can, I know I can trick trim this off. I can, I know I can trick trim this off. These tools are just made out of um, hacksaw blades, and I, I really like the way they work. This is the one I prefer. You can turn these around to really be aggressive, but that's, uh, don't need to do that with this little cup. Scrape a little of that foot off there. All right. So I'd, ideally you won't have to trim too much on the sides because that's more area if you have to work at. But this one, it's a little thick. I just want to adjust the shape. So I'm going to take a little off on this bottom one fourth here. A little better. Okay, that's the shape I want, but if you zoom in, you can see this texture is is different than that. And I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna restore that. Now because this clay is pretty damp, I won't have to probably use any water, but I'll show with water too if I need to do that. So again, using this tool, first thing I'll do is I'll just kind of go over and smooth it out. See where we're at. Now when I stop it, you can see there's still, still some gaps and some rough areas. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to, again, I've talked about how this can scrape away. I'm going to hold this at a little bit more of an angle. Right now it's, it's actually scraping a small amount of clay off. You can still see there's some irregularities. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this back I'm going to lean this tool back in, and that clay I scraped off actually will, for the most part, just smear back on there. And then I can kind of scrape that off again, there's any little high spots. You can see, look, that's pretty good. There's still some little areas. What I'll do, sometimes too, if their clay's drier than this, this will still look pretty rough. So we'll put a little water on it. If you're not able to get the surface now that you want. So now when I take my tool over there, that slip's gonna come off on the tool. I take the tool down and I kind of lay it back down flat and we spread that slip back out on the mug again. That's gonna fill up all the little irregularities. One more time, just kind of scraping that off. I'm going to have to work on this foot and do a few things that I'm not going to do in this video. But you can see how that surface now, this has got nice and smooth again. You won't be, and when this is fire and glazed, you won't be able to tell where I've trimmed it and where I had the original smooth surface from when it was wet. Well, thank you. And this is the cup again. Nice and smooth. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions about this technique or any others, you can always contact me, and we hope to see you on the Clayfest 2020 virtual tour. Thanks again.